Okay, how do we calculate the current when the potential difference in resistance is known? We can use Ohm's law. As an equation, Ohm's law looks like this. V equals IR. So V stands for potential difference and measured in volts. I is current in amps. And R is resistance in ohms. Okay, so if I apply this now, so I'll, if I rearrange this, I'll get I equals V over R. And in this case, V is 2 volts, R is 250 ohms. And that gives me 8 times 10 to minus 3 amps, which is 8 milliamps, which will flow through this circuit. 8 milliamps. Okay. So Ohm's law can also be written in words, and you need to know this definition. Ohm's law says that the potential difference across a metallic conductor is directly proportional to the current through it, provided the physical conditions do not change, for example, temperature. So directly proportional. So that means that if the current, uh, the potential difference doubles, the current will double. If the potential difference triples, the current will triple, and so on. So what a factor the potential difference or current increased by, the other one will increase by the same factor. And this is only true, which is uh, by the caveat here, is that if the physical conditions do not change. No, Ohm's law also lets us define resistance. So the formal definition of resistance, which isn't too important, is just potential difference divided by current in this equation here. That's the definition of resistance. So what does directly proportional look like on a graph? So current and potential difference are direct proportional according to Ohm's law, provided the physical conditions are constant. So it's a straight line, a linear line, going through the origin, 0, 0. So it has to go through here and it has to be a straight line. So in, only in this case will, as one thing doubles, the other thing also doubles, and one thing triples, the other thing triples, and so on, it can increase by the same factor. Let's look at some examples that you know, are not directly proportional. So in this case, you know, it goes to the origin, goes through zero, zero, and as the potential difference increases, the current also increases. However, this is not linear. So therefore, um, this is doesn't follow Ohm's law. So as one thing doubles, the other one doesn't necessarily have to double. Another example here is this is linear, it's a straight line. And as potential difference increases, the, the current also increases. However, it doesn't go through the origin, zero, zero. So therefore, as one thing doubles, the other one doesn't necessarily have to double. So that is not direct proportional either.